Good evening, friends. So I know it's been a while. Um, just wanted to, I've been recording videos, but I haven't been uploading them. I haven't really been doing much. I've been working a lot. I've been working a lot. And so um, I just really haven't uploaded the videos, haven't edited. Um, so I may sprinkle some of those, a few of those in. Um, through this video or I might just make a whole different video um, once I get a chance to throw them all together um, but over the last several weeks we've had a lot of changes here um, I'm gonna flip the camera so you can um, I think a few weeks ago I don't know if it got into a video or not but I planted some spinach and it's actually doing really well so far it just started getting hot here um, so we'll see how it does it may wind up being bitter and bolt before I actually get any of it but I'm hoping not I'm hoping it actually continues to grow and I'll get to eat some before it bolts um, and then I, my lavender finally came up I'm really super happy about that um, I went ahead and bought another lavender plant but these are the seeds that I had bought um, didn't think they were gonna come up it took weeks and weeks and weeks for them to come up but I'm glad that they did um, all of these are the tomatoes that I planted I don't know what varieties I've got, and I won't until they actually produce fruit because I didn't label them. Um, you know, this year was just the fly by the seat of your pants year. So I've got all these tomatoes. I don't know if I'll have room for all of them. I hope I will. Um, some of them may stay in these pots at least for a few more weeks, and then I may try to find a place to plant them so that um, I'll get later in the season. Um, fruit as well um and actually I don't 100 percent remember i think those are some of the radishes that i transplanted so they're still growing um i did buy some more radish seeds it's getting a little late in the season to grow radishes uh they will um typically get woody and bolt and be um you know just just not as good as they are in the spring and in the fall uh, but we'll see what those do um then all of these i've got some of these are little, these are radishes that came up. This one is actually going to bolt before it probably even produces a bulb, which is kind of funny. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get it to focus on. It's hard to get it to focus on the leaves, but it's already, looks like it's starting to develop a flower. And then all of these are radishes. And then my okra came up, guys. Okra is one of the ones that it takes the longest for it to come up, but there it is it came up yay so i have several okra um I have a few more tomatoes here several more tomatoes here and some more okra here as well and then these are a couple of suckers that i pulled off of the plants when i planted them and they're doing okay those leaves are a little bit yellow so they're not getting the most nutrients in this bucket but they're doing okay um and then as you can see the rest of the radishes have bolted. I wanted them to do that. I wanted them to develop flowers and little seed pods. I am planning on collecting seeds from these because I did like them. Um, the few that I did get to eat, I did really like them a lot. So um, I am going to make sure that I try to collect seeds from them this year. I've got to read up on how long to wait and when to collect and how to preserve and all that. This is an onion that I planted that's coming up and hopefully I'll get several little onions out of that. And then I got some herbs to stick around the garden. I need to go ahead and put these two uh, rosemary in the ground so that they can help with deer deterrence. And then I got oregano, some more basil, and I got some chamomile over here on the end. Um, so the basil seems to be kind of taken over a little bit. I'm actually kind of hoping that it'll wind up drooping over the side of this container. If not, I may find another container for it. But y'all, I don't know if you can see this. Look at this. This is what I'm dealing with. Slugs. It's a little tiny, little bitty slug. They are awful. They have been terrible. They have been destroying some of my plants. Not all of them, but some of them. They like to eat my basil. <sighs> Yeah, I've been having trouble with that. And then, a couple of nights ago, I had a deer come through and ate my one and only sunflower that I had planted. Let me take you around here and show you. I've actually already pulled a couple of things that the deer ate. Um, the reason I knew it was deer is because I could see 
the tracks of the deer in the soil. So ate that cucumber, um, several leaves off of it. There's still several leaves on it, so it should be fine. Um, you can kind of see, look, there's a slug on this basil. There's a slug right there. Ugh, stupid. Mm, they annoy me. Um, so yeah, so um, cucumber got eaten and then a couple of my other flowers, I think those are zinnias, have been getting eaten. I did have this sunflower that survived the squirrel attack and came up and is doing well so far. I've got another teeny tiny little tomato coming up there. Um, it's doing okay, not super great, but that's okay. I'm, I'm not mad at it. Uh, but it also got another, this was another one of my, I think it was a zinnia. Just ate all the leaves except for one and ate the top off of it. Uh, it did eat my, somehow for some reason, it ate my marigold. That's a marigold. Not sure why it ate that. They're not supposed to like marigolds, uh, which is one of the reasons why I plant marigolds. Ate a couple of pieces off of that, but left enough that it should still survive. Did not seem to touch that one, but that one's not very mature yet either. The rest of the marigolds are doing okay. I need to get some some food for them. I've been feeding them, but the, I want to get some worm castings or something because they just don't seem to be doing as well as I had hoped they would do here. <clears throat> Left my pepper alone. Pepper's doing just fine. I've actually got some blossoms on my pepper. These are banana peppers. So we'll have banana peppers pretty soon. Um, the plant's been in the ground for several weeks, or I would pull the blossoms so that it could develop deeper roots. Usually, um, anything less than two weeks, I pull the blossoms off to give the plant more of a chance to develop a deeper root system, but that one's been in three or four weeks now. Um, and got another, I'm not sure what that is. So I have an app on my phone and I go around several times a week. And just snap pictures it and it tells me what my plants are it's super duper helpful i think that one might be a radish that i transplanted i'll show the cam looks like it's radish um i've got more basil you can see the holes on the leaves of the basil that's that's slug damage guys that's what it looks like um there is another tomato right next to the basil i'm hoping that those will do well together you can see the deer ate the top straight off of this and several of the leaves of the, I believe that one is either a zucchini or a yellow squash. Oh, and then I've got another, again, either zucchini or yellow squash. I don't remember which ones I planted up here. Um, another tomato, which is actually doing really well. So it was really super random what the deer actually ate. This is um, basil. I believe this one is Thai basil. And then I've got a couple more tomatoes. This tomato plant, y'all, is doing great. This one came with some fruit already on it. And again, normally I would pull the fruit off and the blossoms off and give the plant a chance to develop a root system. But y'all, this one, it's still got the fruit and it's developed more and it's growing and it seems to be doing really, really well. So I'm going to leave it. I do want to um, stake it up and see... Um, you know what I can do with it but uh, so just because I think this one this one it looked like it was going to be a bush and a determinate variety but I think it's actually going to be an indeterminate it is a cherry tomato but um, I thought it was a bush cherry I think it's actually going to be an indeterminate which means that I'll get fruit off of it all year long which is fantastic um, got a couple more pieces of purple basil. I am planning on trying my hand at basil tea this summer. I'm really super excited about that. Um, and I've got some more rosemary. And that's why I think that the the plants on this side didn't get munched as much because rosemary, deer aren't supposed to like rosemary. So, um, you know, maybe. I don't know. I did go ahead and put some of the hostas back in the ground. Some of the um, they're not willies. They're irises some of the irises back in the ground i need to put more of them in 
because they're all kind of starting to rot and not do very well so I need to get them in but that's an early morning job that's not a late in the afternoon and it's 647 <laughs> right now and it's I'm kind of done I've been working all day um, so yeah so that's the upstairs garden and I'll take you down and around I'd show you the tower garden but it's just not there's just nothing spectacular about the tower garden right now. Um, kind of in between seasons with it. I do have some Swiss chard that's still coming up fine. Um, most everything else died back. And I think it's because the pump on it broke. And so I put it on, not the pump, but the, the thing that controlled the pump, the water pump, it broke. And so I put it on a timer and it's just not there none, nothing's done as well since i put it on the timer um i'll show you the lavender i don't remember if i got it at walmart or home depot or where but absolutely gorgeous lavender and it's already bloomed a little bit um it's, it's a bonnie plant i do love bonnie plants um i always seem to do really well and they're super popular in this area um in georgia in the south in general bonnie tends to be like the number one grower for all of the uh, big companies all the big box stores and, and they have generally good really good plants so i'm um, down here in the shade the great shade empty barrel um i believe i might have planted something that in that at one point but i don't remember what so it hasn't come up but this um i probably threw some tomato seeds in this barrel and look we've got tomatoes growing um, we also have mushrooms growing and mushrooms are a sign if you don't know mushrooms are a sign that your soil is really super duper healthy So that's fantastic that I've got mushrooms growing in there um, At some point I will probably just pull those out of there and put them in a different planter or put them somewhere else or um, Go ahead and plant them straight in the ground and see how they do but um, For right now, I don't have another place for them I've got a couple of empty cells, but I think the cells that are empty are too small, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, over here, I've got a little experiment going over here. So that is a potato that we had that developed some eyes, grew some eyes, and so we're working with that. We're going to grow potatoes this year, and then I've got some avocado pits that I put in and we're gonna start growing those and see what comes up and then i went ahead and bought some cilantro i think i'm gonna put that inside um and when it gets a little bit warmer the chickens and ducks are out today one of the things that has happened since the last time i saw you guys um i had to rehome one of the chickens uh she was being picked on by the other ones and the, her back got all scabbed up and bloody and a mess and um, so I rehomed her with my friend Chris um, and then shortly after that I heard one of the ch other chickens the black Australorp the the really beautiful um, black Australorp that I had um, her name was um, Maleficent so I called her Mally she um, was sneezing or coughing I couldn't I couldn't really tell which um, I looked at her she seemed to be fine and then the next morning she was gone she wasn't with us anymore so um, you know, unfortunately that stuff like that happens, um, super sad, but we are down to four now. We've got the two that look like they're Rhode Island reds, but I think they're actually copper morans. Um, we've got the one Americana, Miss Cinderella that lays me the beautiful blue eggs. And then I've got the one Buff Orpington who was broody for the last two weeks and has finally broken her brood. Um, and it's, hopefully we'll start laying eggs again in the next couple of days. Um, so we can get eggs from her again. But then I went ahead and planted a little bit of a garden down here. The deer have also gotten this garden. And on the rare occasions that I've been letting the chickens and the ducks out, the chickens have taken out a couple of my plants. So I had some basil and some crookneck squash down here they got those i had some zucchini i've got some tomatoes the tomatoes are still doing okay uh, a couple of them got munched on i just went ahead and threw some of these um these irises down here just hoping that they'll bury themselves <laughs> i'm gonna i gotta get some soil i gotta get some soil at some point and and bury all of those and um or even just drill some holes in and, and bury them 
Um, I've got some marigolds down here to help with pest pressure. I've also got some oregano down here to help with some pest pressure. And I'm going to put one of those two um, rosemary plants that I've got up, up in the front. I'm going to put one of those two, I think, down here. Um, and then we've got another little spot over here. Right now I'm treating. So I got a spray. I'll have to remember. It's called Tomcat. And it's deer and rabbit repellent. So I've got that. Picked that up today. Sprayed it all over. Um, it's also it's supposed to be fine even when it rains and stuff like that because we're in that season where sometimes it rains, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I've been watering on the days that it doesn't rain if I remember or have time. Um, so I bought that. We'll see how that does. It smells terrible. It smells like garlic for some reason. So it must have some garlic in it or something. Um, but also another thing, this giant ant mound. So this, this white substance that you see... This is diatomaceous earth. I rarely use diatomaceous earth, but this year the flies are really bad and the ants have been bad. So I dug up the ant mound. I sprinkled it because about two weeks ago I had sprinkled it with seven. It killed back some of them, but I don't like using seven a lot. Um, I don't really like using diatomaceous earth out here in the garden a lot because it will kill the nematodes that are beneficial. Um, it'll kill the butterfly larva. It'll kill... Um, you know, it'll kill, it'll kill the beneficial as well as the, the bad stuff. So, but I tried to get the ants to move away and they didn't. So, like I said, I dug them up, um, sprinkled them with DE or yeah, with DE and it's food grade DE. So if the dogs get into it, it's not going to hurt them. If the chickens and ducks get into it, it's not going to hurt them. It's really not a problem for them at all. So in probably another week. That, that area is going to be planted with garlic and those okra plants that I showed you up top. I'm going to take those because from what I understand, garlic and okra grow well together. The garlic helps uh, deter the pests that like to eat the okra. And the okra helps deter the pests that like to eat the garlic scapes, which is not, there's not a lot that likes to eat garlic. But you don't get a lot of pest pressure with garlic, but... So I'm going to try growing those together down here. This is about the only spot that I've got left that's got any room in it whatsoever. Um, and the, the okra will probably get six, eight feet tall. I might toss a couple of sunflower seeds in there as well and see if they'll come up. Because I love the sunflowers. I love the okra flowers. And I love the way sunflowers look wherever you put them. So um, I'll probably put, I've got plenty of seeds left and I'll probably go ahead and put some of those in um and see how they do so yeah so that's the update we're getting i mean this is almost a 20 minute video y'all so um hopefully this is one this is a one and done i'm not editing this one i'm just going to go ahead and throw it up and then sometime within the next week or two i'm i promise i'm going to get to it i will upload those other videos from the last couple of weeks so things might seem a little bit backwards um in the next couple of videos but i am going to try to throw those up so that you can kind of go back and forth if you want and look. Most of these videos are just for me to kind of see what's going on, what's happening. Um, just kind of document where I'm at in life right now. Isn't that, isn't that view gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yep. Absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. So that's it for me today. That's it for the update. I am going to go and chase these chickens and ducks back in their house. And I am going to go make some dinner. Y'all have a great one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.